Hello, I'm Kyle Ranke, Support Services Manager here at PDQ. Today we're going to be going over the GT and GP classroom function timing. The most common issue with the classroom function lock set is after installation, we will hear of a jiggling lever unlocking the door. This is most likely a timing issue. The first step is removing the lever. This is accomplished by putting the key in, rotating it 45 degrees, sticking your awl in the lever D10 hole, and removing the lever. The next step is verifying that the key spindle is either fully rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. This is where your tailpiece of your cylinder would go. When reinstalling your lever, we suggest you remove the key to make sure the cylinder does not rotate and come out of timing. Now that your lever is in place, we're going to insert the key and rotate only 45 degrees to reinstall. Once it clicks, Take it back, remove the key, and you should have a fully timed lock. Now that we have your lock timed properly, we're going to go over the correct functioning of the lock. Insert your key, rotate 360 degrees, remove the key, lever's unlocked. Insert your key, rotate 360 degrees again, lever should be locked. If you can only get a 180 degree rotation out of your key, your lock is timed incorrectly. Here we have your GT135, which is the double cylinder classroom security function. The only difference between this and the 148 in timing is that you would want to install your inside lever core, remove the key, and then go through the normal timing procedure for the outside. This concludes the instructions on how to time your classroom function lock. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit us at pdqlocks.com. If you enjoyed the content, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.